Magandang araw po sa lahat ng mga nanonood Bago natin i-play yung ating intro Shout out muna tayo kay Benom CJ Ayan, Benom CJ, shout out sa'yo Sana pagbutihan mo pa ang iyong pag-aaral Good luck and God bless Hi! Welcome to my channel! At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong math tutorial videos. Today, ang pag-aaralan natin ay about right triangle similarity theorem. So, we will use the geometric mean to determine the missing parts of a triangle. So, alamin muna natin class ang geometric mean. So, in mathematics, geometric mean is the average value or mean which signifies the central tendency of the set of numbers by finding the product of their values. And it is also defined as the end root of the product of n numbers. Ibig sabihin class, multiply lang lahat ng numbers pagkatapos kukunin yung nth root of the multiplied numbers where n is the total number of values. For example, for a given set of two numbers such as 2 and 8, the geometric mean is equal to 4. So paano po class nakuha yung 4? Sabi nga kanina, Geometric mean defined as the nth root of the product of n numbers. So, ang gagawin natin, kukunin lang natin ang product ng 2 and 8. So, 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Then, yung nth root, since dalawa lang class yung given numbers, kukunin natin ang square root ng 16. And square root of 16 is equal to to 4. So, ganun lang class kasimple ang geometric mean. Proceed naman tayo class sa parts ng right triangle. So, meron tayo ditong hypotenuse. Ito class ang pinakamahabang side ng right triangle. And of course, meron din tayo ditong right angle. And the other two sides refer to its legs. Now, paano natin malalaman kung nasaan ang hypotenuse? So, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, ang hypotenuse ang pinakamahabang side ng right triangle. Bukod dito, yung hypotenuse class ay laging nasa opposite o tapat ng right angle. So, kung nandito class yung ating right angle, yung opposite niya o yung tapat niya, yun yung hypotenuse. Now, dagdagan natin class ng altitude. Yung altitude nga pala class ng triangle is a line segment from a vertex that is perpendicular to the opposite side. At makikita naman natin na yung ginawa nating segment ay mula doon sa ating vertex at perpendicular sa kanyang opposite sides. Ibig sabihin class, meron din tayong right angles dito. At sa paglagay natin class ng altitude, dito napapasok ang theorem natin sa right angle similarity. So, if an altitude is drawn from the right angle of any triangle, then the two triangles formed are similar to the original triangle. And all three triangles are similar to its other. So, itong original triangle natin class, ay similar dito sa ating medium triangle at similar din doon sa small triangle. So, these three triangles are similar to each other. Next naman class ay ang geometric mean altitude theorem number 1. The length of the altitude to the hypotenuse is the geometric mean of the length of the segments of the hypotenuse. Ibig sabihin class, yung altitude is the geometric mean of the hypotenuse segments. 
kung ipakikita natin class sa formula, A or altitude is equal to the square root of h sub 1 and h sub 2. So, yung h sub 1 natin class, ito yung shorter segment ng ating hypotenuse. At yung h sub 2 naman, yun yung ating longer segment ng hypotenuse. So, itry natin class sa example number 1. Solve for x. So, yung x natin dito ay altitude. And we all know that altitude is geometric mean of hypotenuse segment. So, gagamitin lang natin class yung ginawa natin formula. A is equal to the square root of h sub 1 and h sub 2. Then, substitute lang natin yung given value. So, magiging x is equal to the square root of the product of 3 and 12. And 3 times 12 is equal to 36. Then, kunin natin class yung square root ng 36. So, x is equal to 6. Now, paano naman kaya kung yung leg naman ang hinahanap? Dito naman class, papasok ang geometric mean altitude theorem number 2. So, if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, its leg of the right triangle is the geometric mean of the entire hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse adjacent to the leg. So, mas pasimplihin pa natin class yung sinasabi sa theorem number 2. Yung measure daw class ng its leg is the geometric mean of the whole hypotenuse and hypotenuse segment closest to the leg. At kung gagawa natin ng formula, leg is equal to the square root of the sum of h sub 1 and h sub 2 times h sub 1. So itong h sub 1 at h sub 2 natin class, ito yung tinutukoy na entire hypotenuse or whole hypotenuse. Kaya naman, pinagsama or inad natin yung hypotenuse segment. Tapos, yung sum nila ay multiply natin sa hypotenuse segment na malapit sa leg or adjacent. So, kung ito class, yung leg na inahanap natin, adjacent ito dito sa h sub 1 or mas malapit siya doon sa h sub 1 natin. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo doon sa formula natin, siya yung i-multiply natin doon sa sum ng ating hypotenuse segments. Pero kung ito class, yung leg na hanapin natin, so ang babaguhin natin sa formula, gagawin natin siyang h sub 2. Kasi itong leg na ito ay mas malapit doon sa h sub 2 natin. At pagkatapos natin class, kunin yung sum ng hypotenuse segment at na multiply natin sa hypotenuse segment closest to the leg, ang huli natin gagawin ay kukunin natin yung square root para makuha natin yung measured class ng leg. For example, solve for x. So, yung x natin dito ay yung shorter leg. And according to geometric mean, altitude theorem number 2, that its leg of the right triangle is the geometric mean of the entire hypotenuse and hypotenuse segment closest to the leg. So, gagamitin natin yung nagawa nating formula to find the value of x. Leg is equal to the square root of the sum of h sub 1 and h sub 2 times h sub 1. Then, substitute natin class. So, magiging x is equal to the square root of the sum of 3 and 24 times 3. And 3 plus 24 is equal to 27. So, magiging x is equal to the square root of the product of 27 and 3. And 27 times 3 is equal to 81. And square root of 81 is equal to 9. So, bukan naman natin kung yung longer leg naman ang hinahanap. So, yun pa din class ang gagamitin nating formula. So, nabago lang class yung dulo ng ating formula. 
kung kanina sa h sub 1 natin i-multiply, ngayon naman sa h sub 2 or yung mas mahabang segment ng hypotenuse. Dahil ito class yung segment ng hypotenuse na adjacent or mas malapit sa leg ng hinahanap natin. So, substitute na natin class. X is equal to the square root of the sum of 9 and 16 times 16. And 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. So, 25 times 16 is equal to 400. And square root of 400 is 20. Paano naman kaya kung ang hinahanap ay yung segment ng hypotenuse? So, dito class, ang hinahanap ay yung longer segment ng hypotenuse. And since meron tayong given na leg, yung formula sa leg ang gagamitin natin. So, L is equal to the square root of h sub 1 plus h sub 2 times h sub 1. Tapos, substitute lang din natin class yung given. So, 12 is equal to the square root of 3 plus x times 3. And 3 plus x times 3 is equal to 9 plus 3x. At para maalis natin class yung radical, i-square lang natin yung both sides ng equation. So magiging 144 is equal to 9 plus 3x. Next naman is subtract both sides by 9. So magiging 135 is equal to 3x. And last, Divide both sides by 3, so x is equal to 45. And for our last example, yung shortest segment naman ng hypotenuse ang hahanapin natin. But this time, wala tayong given na leg. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, meron naman tayong class na altitude. So yung formula class ng altitude ang gagamitin natin. So a is equal to the square root of the product of h sub 1 and h sub 2. Then, sa substitute lang din natin. So, magiging 6 is equal to the square root of x times 9. And x times 9 is equal to 9x. At para maalis uli natin class yung radical, square lang natin yung both sides. So, magiging 36 is equal to 9x. And last... Divide both sides by 9. And x is equal to 4. So hanggang dito na lang class. Kung meron po kayong hindi naintindihan at meron kayong gustong itanong, ilagay lang sa ating comment section at isa-isa natin niyang sasagutin. Muli, maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.